Hello, my name is Andy Kleppner with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we'll be going over the client portal inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. Today, we're going to go over the client portal inside of Go High Level. Now, the client portal is really, really a cool thing. They've kind of taken the membership area, the affiliates area, and the communities area and put it all into one client portal. It makes it much easier for your users or your affiliates or people in your community or people who are your members to actually have one solid space to go to when either they're getting any of their stuff. So that stuff could, again, be courses, affiliate information, media that goes with that affiliate information, or the community section. And in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I did to set ours up. So the first thing that you're going to do from the dashboard, you're going to go over to the sites area. And in the sites area, you're going to notice at the top is the client portal. We have our dashboard and we have our settings. So let's first go over the dashboard. The dashboard is going to show you how many people have been invited, how many users you actually have. It's also going to give you the link that you're using for people to access the client dashboard. And I'm going to show you just in a minute exactly how we build out the domain that you're going to use for that client portal. You can also generate a magic link. You can invite people to that client portal and you can send a login email to a person. So if you want to do any of these things, you would generate it and you would find the contact that would be appropriate. You would click on that contact and then you would click here and generate and send them that email. If you wanted to invite them to the client portal, it would be the same thing. You click invite, you would find the name of the person and then you would send the invite. Same thing with the login email. All right. So what we're going to do next though is we're going to go to settings. In settings, there's two very important parts. You've got your domain setup and your branding. Now, I've already done the branding for my course builder. I've already added the domain, but I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. The way we do it for the domain setup is that, first of all, we're given a basic subdomain, but that doesn't exactly look professional, not something that we really want to use. So what we're going to do is that we would create a custom domain. It's very easy to add the CNAME record for that. In my case, I've gone to Cloudflare, and I'm in my account, and I'm just going to show you this even though I'm not going to be using it because Automated Marketer is out of a different account. But what you do is you go to DNS, you would add a record, you would go to CNAME, you would put in whatever you want to use. It could be members or community or portal or literally anything that you would want it to be. You would grab this client club right here, preview.clientclub.net, copy it, go into the record, paste it, and hit save. And automatically, that's going to connect. Usually takes, you know, within 30 seconds to, you know, 5 to 15 minutes if you're using a reputable domain provider or DNS provider. And then you'll be able to put in your domain information right over here. Click update domain and it's going to be ready to go. So the next part I'm going to show you out of settings. Now I can click settings here or I can click it over here is the branding. Now in the branding, you're going to put in your portal name. That is the area that goes right here. And you could say welcome members. You could do whatever you want there. I'm just choosing to use automated marketer. In here, you can add a portal description. As you can see, I have digital marketing, web design, business services. I could uh, add go high level if I have enough space. Uh, I'm up to 50. Right now, you're only allowed up to 50 characters. So I'm going to change this to a uh, high level just so you can see the change made. And then you can choose your color. And then you can choose a second branding color. I have my blue and my red. I'm not exactly sure where the red appears because as you can see, it's mainly showing blue, especially on the button. But I definitely know that this color is one of the colors used. I can add my favicon. You want that to be 16 by 16 pixels. Then you can add your portal image. Now that portal image can seem to be a little confusing, believe it or not, because that portal image is actually the background image. And the way I created that is I made a 720 by 720 pixel size area inside of Canva, and I just dropped the background. It was super, super easy. All you got to do is from Canva, create a design and do a custom size of 720 by 720. You're going to go over to photos. You're going to type in, in my case, cogs, but you know, whatever you want that background to be. You just drag it in and you just bring it up to the top here. Bring it down here. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to change this background to make it, you know, the dark blue that I use. 
And then I'm going to bring this image here. And then I'm going to make it kind of transparent because I only want it to be really light. And then I would name it, I would download it, and then I would upload it to my portal, which would go right over here. And just, you know, drag and drop it right here. Really simple to do. And then your logo. Now, this is the kind of important part. This logo is whatever logo that you put in there. It's only 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So preferably, what I did is I actually added a whiteout version of my logo. So it's kind of like my own personal icon. That's what I like to use there. I wouldn't put my whole logo because it would be really, really tiny because in my logo is the name of the business. So since it's such a small area, 200 by 200, I just dropped in an icon there that represents my company. After I do that, I can put in a support email address and I can also add my copyright. This will be displayed on my profile. And then just save the settings. Now, as you can see, I have high level here and it still says web design there. So if I just click save over here and I refresh it, it takes a couple times, but high level is now there. So now I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna show you what's inside. So this is a dummy account that I often use, but here are my courses. And these are the courses that that dummy account has actually bought. It brings that up first. The courses is the main thing, but on the top right hand corner, I can also go to a communities if I have my communities working. And of course, I can also have my affiliate stuff. Now, I think they're probably going to add more stuff to this version of high level portals, but I don't know when that's coming. But you can have your dashboards, your commissions, your media, all that stuff. And then the person, this is again, my dummy account can view and edit their, their profile just by clicking here, changing their information, giving their own profile picture, profile cover, all this information, bio, profile, slug, location. And then they have their account, their login information. They can change their password. And then they can add all their social media. So the client portal is a really cool thing that has been added now to go high level. I think it's something that a lot of us are going to start using and drifting away from the basic membership area and just using the client portal. If you like this video and you like the content that we're bringing you, please do us a favor, like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next video.